After a long wait, finally something happened again on the site for my new barn. Look everyone, lots and lots of steel arrived and put together in the correct order it'll make a wonderful sheltered space for my therapy work. But unfortunately for now, after all this hustle and bustle, the place has gone quiet again because the builder had to hurry off to finish another project first. But we are getting so good at being patient. Trudy and Turnip found all this metal very interesting and especially Turnip enjoyed supervising everything. Another big distraction are of course the puppies. They are eight weeks old now, the first one left already to her new loving home and the others are having a brilliant time hanging out in their little pen outside our front door causing chaos or exploring the vast exciting space in our flower garden. Hello, hello. Hi guys. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> but what looks like a thick jungle of flowers and other plants in fact contains some edible vegetables as well would you believe. It's been so incredibly busy here that keeping up with the weeds moved right to the bottom of my daily list and basically never got done. But the onions grew anyway. A fine harvest despite Almost zero care. And the potatoes did their multiplying thing under the straw mulch too. Look at these fine spuds. Like a jungle in here, Tim. Well done. Was... Tim is in charge of what grows in the glass house. Plenty of all sorts of stuff there. Pretty sweet peas over there. Oh yes. And, um, parsley. Loads and loads of basil. Lovely. And show me what you are doing. Hang on. Everywhere you look, the tomatoes. But isn't that great? Look at those shiny red things. Of you. Aren't they? Wow. One. <laughs> nice and shiny and red going into my milk. Mm. Mm, delicious. Plenty more. Wow, lots of sage. They're actually falling onto the ground now. Oh. And rosemary. Mm, you should dry it, <laughs> Meat over there. <laughs> oh, that's a whopper. Oh, that's a proper. Frying up tomato. Mm. <laughs> oh, massive. Great, mm. well done. I didn't even know it was there. Mm. And there's even a few grapes over here. Oh. Well, don't film the other grapes. Yeah, Puppy just gone into the pumpkin flower. Mm. Anything nice in there? Oh, long way out, isn't there? Baby pumpkin. Takes a little bit longer to ripen. Gulliver the baby donkey is getting big and always has new tricks up his sleeve. But now I discovered why Nell's and Eeyore's water bucket is always empty. Gulliver, what are you doing? What's he doing? He's trying to spill your water, is he? Guys, Gulliver. Oliver! Oi! Gulliver. Gulliver, you can't be spilling the water. Let's move that over there, shall we? Now. 
Gulliver is very adorable. He loves people and especially me, of course, because he remembers all the tasty bottle feeds I gave him when he was tiny. He's big now, isn't he? Perfect hugging size, isn't he? Oh, lovely. Perfect for hugging. Perfect. Perfect little donkey. Donkey, donkey. This well, still wants to suck, doesn't he? Oh, any more milk? No. <gasps> Furry forage. Yeah. I had originally planned for him to move to his own new home and people, but over the weeks I realized that it isn't just him who is so focused and attached to me. I feel very, very close to him as well. I wonder do they make, um, what do they call them? Soother? Pacifier? For uh, donkeys. Donkey size. Donkey size? Because <laughs> that's what he needs. Look, he's using my fingers. No, he's a big lad now. He can big do that. Lad. <laughs> and I just don't fun. find it in me to break our special bond. I also realize what a precious little donkey I have here. He adores people and loves attention and gives back affection. Just what a wonderful therapy donkey he could make one day. It will be a privilege to have him grow up here on our farm and offer him a job that suits him best. The swallows have only just hatched their last young ones in Tim's plasma cutter room. I hope they will have a few warm, calm weeks ahead after fletching to practice their flying before setting off to southern Europe and Africa. Our flock of poultry is truly wonderful. It is such fun to watch this chatty crowd every morning. Goldie looks all grown up now, but his voice still gives him away as the young teenager he is. <laughs> Sean is looking out for his young companions. It is so sweet to see how he takes on some sort of uncle role in their lives. I decided to give Otto, the new ram lamb, another quick haircut as he was born in February and his long wool is a bit of a risk factor for getting fly strike, a horrible parasite disease sheep can get at this time of year. We made great progress in patching up the house a bit. Tim's worked very hard painting the entire outside of the house as well as sealing the windows. I am amazed with myself that I still found the time to take the horses out but as a bit of competition riding now and then is my passion everything else gets moved out of the way for it once in a while. It is a refreshing change to dress up and polish Flora and go to a one-day event for a bit of excitement. Flora takes a more relaxed approach to the whole thing. Even under the judge's watchful eye, she finds a moment to nibble a bit of grass. Definitely not part of the show protocol. This is a competition where riders compete with their horses in dressage, show jumping and cross country and it is a lot of fun. Sometimes we even win a ribbon but the main reward for me is the great feeling of working well with Flora as a team and the excitement Flora picks up from me and how she so happily carries me outside our comfort zone through a bit of a challenge. And then, of course, it was time to set off on one of our trail riding adventures. But I'll tell you about that in another video. <laughs>